Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Avid Media Composer. This will be an advanced level tutorial. Thank you once again to Edit Stock for the footage and I recommend all students or people trying to practice editing, drama, uh, do need good footage and good rushes to work with and I recommend Edit Stock as a good place to go to to have professional level editing material. There's a link below, please follow it if you want to practice your editing craft. In this tutorial we're going to look at how we can actually start to use more precision level editing to create a smooth consistent performance. This is from the film Anesthesia and the scene in question is the dentist talking to a slightly anaesthetized patient on the subject of monsters, dentists and fairies called the bone Gru. Let's play it back and I'm going to show you the options I've got to play with. Let's just take it back a few seconds to get a sense of the scene at play. Anyhow, originally, they were called the Bone Gru. It's a mighty race of creatures that live beneath the earth. Race of creatures that live beneath the earth. As you can see, when I do my first assemble, I often leave dialogue repeated across certain cuts. So I've got room to play with when I come to start refining the rhythm and the pacing. So I've got some decisions to make. Let's have a little playback. Where can I cut to make sure we get a smooth performance? It's a mighty race of creatures that... Creatures that. So I'm going to make a cut here. I'm going to trim this portion out. Let's see what we've got. Of creatures that... Race of creatures that... And I'm going to trim this bit here. So we're cutting on the word that. Let's see how it plays back. Any race of creatures that live beneath the earth. Doesn't feel quite right. We can see by actually looking at the waveform here that the inflection of the voice goes down and it seems to go up quite a bit. And it feels like the performance is slightly off. And as editors, this is the one thing we have to be very careful of. We must remember on, you know, very busy sets, there's sometimes multiple takes, lots of different performances that have different rhythms and tones. Our job as an editor is to keep that tone of performance emotionally consistent. And this does feel a bit off. Let's just play it back. Mighty race of creatures that live beneath. It feels like he's going down too much, then going up on the cut. Cutting on the word that doesn't seem to work for me. So let's undo it. Let's put it back to what it was. And let's now try again and find a different cutting spot. It's a mighty race of... I'm going to go for of. His voice is nice and on the downward spiral there. So I'm going to make a trim on the word of. It's a mighty race of... Let's go for of. I'm going to make of the edit point. And let's find the edit point on the incoming clip. Race of... Of. So there we go. Of. Race of... I'm going to make the cut there. So I'm going to trim to the left. Let's now play it back and see what we've got. It's a mighty race of creatures. I'm probably a little hard on there, so I'm going to give it a little bit more room to breathe. Mighty race of race of. Let's try that. It's a mighty race of creatures. That feels a lot better. And actually, looking at the waveform here shows that actually it probably works in terms of the. the emotional level of his voice. If you look at the waveform, it's going down, his voice is getting lower. Down here, his voice is lower than it would have been on the harder cut here. So you can just see it sort of, and sometimes looking at those waveforms really does help. So if you play it back, I feel that's the better cut. It's a more consistent performance. It's a better cut and I've helped develop a consistent performance. It's a mighty race of creatures which of course is the editor's job. In the next tutorial, I'll explain pacing and its effect on the rhythms of performance in much greater detail. See you there.